Hey guys, it's Lily Pad Polish, and for today's video, I'm back with another Christmas nail tutorial. So I know this is a little bit last minute as it is already Christmas Eve, um, but I did just want to pop on and show you guys the manicure that I decided to create and wear for Christmas this year. So this one is a little simpler than the last one. Um, I did do one more uh, less than 24 hours ago. I uploaded it super relate um, but if you happen to miss that I'll have that up in the right hand side in the cards um, but this one's a little bit more of a simple manicure I did a little Rudolph the red nose reindeer and then I also wanted to um, add a little bit of a candy cane peppermint touch um, but the other nails are pretty simple as you can see and I just thought it would be such a cute Christmassy manicure to wear on Christmas Day so if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this manicure then just keep on watching so starting off as always I'm going to apply a base coat to protect my nail and ensure that this manicure lasts a long long time I do want to keep it throughout um, the New Year's Day as well um, and the base coat that I'm using today is the hollow taco long-lasting base coat this is definitely a new fave of mine and it definitely holds up to its name my manicure lasts so long um, and I just really really love this base coat so I'm just applying a nice thin and even coat on all of my nails and I definitely definitely cap the edges every single time even the sides of my nail if your nails are long enough always cap the sides it just really helps to keep them from chipping um, and also it just to ensure that all your nail is covered and even And once our base coat is all dry, we can go in with our base polishes. So on my pointer fingernail, I'm just applying a plain white nail polish. Um, this one is a Sally Hansen Extreme Wear nail polish in white on. This is literally just a $2 white nail polish um, and I went in with a second and a third coat for this and it covered my nail perfectly. And then for my middle fingernail and then also my pinky fingernail, I'm going in with Hollow Tacos Red Licorice. So it is such a pretty red holographic nail polish. I really, really love it. You can't really see the hollow too much in this particular lighting, but it is so, so pretty if you see it under a flash. I just really love it. Um, and I feel like holographic and glittery things is just so Christmassy. Um, but I will be going over top of this with another different um, red glitter um, just to make it sparkle just in that much more. But I feel like using a holographic base um, definitely helps in making that red glitter pop. Um, and this is actually the same um glitter combination that I used in my previous uh, Christmas tutorial that I mentioned earlier on in this video um, and as I said before that will be linked up in the right hand side in the cards if you happen to miss that last video. Um, and then for the last fingernail, which is our ring fingernail, I'm going in with sort of an off-white color. Um, you can always just use a white, but I just decided to be extra today and use an off-white. Um, so it's um, it looks white, but it is sort of uh, pink-toned. Um, it leans a little bit more on the pink side. And this one is from China Glaze, and it's called Let's Chalk About It. So if you, you can compare it to the actual white fingernail, you can sort of see the difference, but on itself or by itself, um, it definitely does look white. It's just a little bit of an extra pinky touch to it. So once I went off camera and applied a second and third coat and let it completely dry, 
I was ready to go in and do my glitter toppings. So on the white uh, nail polish on the pointer finger, I used China Glaze's Hey Girl Hey. And this is such a pretty like iridescent uh, glitter. It just reminds me of snow. I love it. So I'm just applying an even layer of this and again I did do a second coat of this off camera because I wanted it to look as glittery as it possibly can um, and I also just wanted to ensure that all of the glitter was sort of even because glitters tend to apply a little bit patchy like it might look a little glittery on the right side of your nail compared to the left so I do just like to go in with a second coat just to even it all out um, and I did the same with this glitter red polish that I'm using over top of the hollow taco that I previously used um, and this is actually a wet and wild nail polish called no place like home I've had this nail polish for forever so I don't even know if you can still find this but it is such a pretty glittery red polish and I use it every Christmas I think I mentioned this in my last tutorial but it is just such a pretty red Christmassy color like it screams Christmas to me um, so yeah I'm just doing another even layer over top of the red and ensuring that all parts of the nail are covered with sparkly glitter so once I was done with that I moved on to the pointer fingernail which is going to be the candy cane design so I do like to use acrylic paint when I'm doing detailed designs like this so that's what I'm using I always use the Americana acrylic paint um, and I dipped it in with a small detailed nail art brush this one is from born pretty store um, and as always the links for all of the polishes and tools that I'm using will be in the description box below um, but I'm basically just doing diagonal lines to do the peppermint or candy cane design so I just did one thin line and then one thicker line I did a or left a small little um, space and then did it again one thin line and then one thick line um, so that's just basically how I was doing this design I feel like it looks more like a candy cane rather than just doing diagonal stripes um, so that's what I decided to do and I was definitely taking my time just making sure that the lines were straight um, because you can always build upon the line if it's like a little too thin so that's just what I did I just sort of slowly made more and more lines to thicken it up and then for our reindeer nail I went in with this light brown color for the reindeer face this one is China Glaze's sorry I'm um, latte and I just went in with the brush of the nail polish just to get the general shape and then I did go in um, with a small detail brush just to fix up the edges or fix up any like of the imperfections that I saw um, but generally I just use the brush that comes with the polish bottle and that pretty much gave me the shape that I wanted um, but I'm a perfectionist so I just went in and fixed up those little errors and then I went in with a darker brown to do the antlers of the reindeer and for this I did use OPI's You Don't Know Jacques and so I just did a line, a straight line um, from the head of the reindeer and then I did two little um, sort of branches um, out of that original line so that it looks like a little reindeer antlers. Um, and then once I did that I went in with white acrylic paint and a dotting tool to do the eyes and then while that was drying I just went in with some red to do the reindeer nose so I just did a line downwards and then did two sort of curved lines outward to try and get the most symmet symmetrical half circle that I can um, because this is obviously the biggest part of the reindeer it needs to be a perfect little half circle um, so I did just do that and then once I was happy with the general shape I filled it in and then once the white was all dry I went in with a smaller dotting tool to do the pupils so I used a black acrylic paint for that and then while that was drying, I went in with the same glitter that we used on the previous nails to um, add the glitter on the 
reindeer nose um, because I did want there to be a little bit of glitter on this nail just so that it goes with the rest and then going back in with an even smaller dotting tool and white acrylic paint I just added that to the pupils to look like a little reflection to the eyes and then once all of my nails were completely dry I was able to go in with my top coat so I'm using hollow tacos super glossy top coat and I did apply two coats of this I applied the second coat off camera um, and especially with the glitter nails you do want to ensure that you apply extra thick coats of top coat um, just to make sure that your nail is nice and smooth and you don't have any bumpy or jagged edges um, and of course as always once I was in applying the even coat of top coat I always do like to cap the edges on the bottom and even on the sides and once I was done with that our manicure is complete I know this is a really simple and easy design so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I really enjoyed creating this manicure it's been quite some time since I've created nail art and since I've created tutorials for you guys so I was really excited to do these and I feel like they came out so cute my freehand skills aren't as great as they once were um, but I feel like this design still came out really cute um, and I just really like the way it came out I'm super excited to wear it um, on Christmas so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to see more videos like this one if you haven't already. Um, I really, really am excited to start posting more, especially coming into the new year. But yeah, as always, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!